A major announcement affecting our border with Canada today as we look live at the Blaine Peace Arch crossing right now. Today the president said that border will temporarily shut down, but not to everything or everyone. Our Glenn Farley is live near the Peace Arch tonight in Blaine. So, Glenn, we've heard that you've gotten trouble getting a straight answer on when all of this is going to happen. Tell us more. It, it, it's, it's just like it is a slow side of soft rollout. You know, we've heard from the Prime Minister of Canada. We've heard from the President of the United States. We have not really heard anything officially from the Department of Homeland Security. More on that in a minute. But Drew Mickelson was able to ask the governor today, is this border effectively closed except for commerce today? And the governor said it's kind of a federal issue. He had no direct answer either. This is a gorgeous day in troubled times. The boats in the foreground of this picture are in Blaine, Washington. The houses and apartment buildings under construction in the near distance, that's White Rock, British Columbia. And the U.S.-Canada border runs nearly invisibly between them. At the Peace Arch, the symbol of openness between the U.S. and Canada. On the American side, people this afternoon are told things may be shutting down. I'm Canadian, but I'm a resident of the U.S. Well, what did they tell you up there? They told me that it's like day by day and I should be considered an essential visitor, but they can't deny me into my own country and they can't deny me coming back for the most part right now, unless I'm symptomatic. If it's not shut down at this point, it sure looks like it might as well be. Things are slow. I go down to Trader Joe's in Bellingham a lot and all of that stuff, right? Rudy Kampash is Canadian and has lived by this border crossing for four decades. This is about the deadest I've seen it. You know, very rarely do you see this. There's usually large lineups, and that's one of the reasons I came down on the bike to just to look around a little bit. The border matters for the economy here. Canadians come to get deals on gas and groceries or to the post office. You're not worried about going down there and getting trapped and not being able to get home, are you? Yeah, I'm scared too. Now those Customs and Border Protection vehicles with the lights on, they left at about 4 o'clock. Traffic, as you can see, is still moving through. There's not a lot. There's a Jeep from Washington. We've seen other folks from B.C. Basically, what they are saying is that if you have essential business that needs to be taken care of, you can go through. We saw a freight train go through. There are railroad tracks over there. That is part of commerce. That's working. The truck crossing is to the east of us. Uh, so. Is it shut down? We don't officially know yet. Uh, the Customs and Border Protection the Department of Homeland Security has not put any firm defined parameters on that other than what I just said, but not in terms of a time or a day or anything else. So we're treating it essentially shut down now. Live in Blaine, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.